Hi, and welcome to this video on how to put apps on an SD card on the Huawei Y530. The Huawei Y5 version 2 and the Samsung Express 2. Now, a couple of people ask me how do you put apps on an SD card? Because I always have apps on my SD card. And uh, some people I don't, don't know how to put them on the SD card. Especially with Huawei, it's not as easy as, for example, with, with Samsung. With Samsung, in the application manager, you see exactly what apps could be installed on SD card, even if I don't have an SD card. Look, it says, your phone does not have an SD card. Insert an SD card. Here's the SD card, SD card, SD card. Here it doesn't even show this option. So I hope Huawei will update this and um, in the next version this will be... Uh, there will also be, just like with Samsung Express 2, there will be this possibility to see what apps can be installed even when there is no SD card, etc. I really like how Samsung did this. Okay, um, let's... I'll show you how to install. So first of all, we'll have to put in the SD cards. So I'll switch them off. Okay, here it's very simple. Here it's it. Here. Okay, some this is the Huawei Y uh, two version two, Y five version two. This is the Samsung Express. Okay, let's put them up. This is Huawei is very fast. Um, okay, my pin number, just a second. Okay. Accidentally did the flight mode on. Okay. Here my pin code. Okay. This one seems to boot the fastest of them of these three. Okay, so the Huawei Y530, the Huawei Y5 uh, version two, and the Samsung Express two. So with You go to the application manager, manage apps, manage apps, and here with the new version of Huawei, they kind of, I mean, they did an upgrade. Here with the, with the old Huawei, older version of Huawei Y530, but the newest update for the, this phone, uh, it's not even visible where it is. Okay, with the newer um, Android uh, 5.1 uh, and uh, this uh, Huawei Y5 version 2 
Uh, it's already an upgrade that SD is, is visible. Here it's not. But, for example, it's not clear what apps can be and cannot be on the SD card. So what I do is I go to download. This one is also not possible. But these are MX player, move to Braille, Skype, Here's oh, very easy. I'll show you how to do it with the Y5 302. So um, I would really prefer that Huawei would do in, on all their devices something similar as Samsung did. Shouldn't be that hard. Um, so with the Huawei Y530 and other similar devices, so you go under device, you go under more, and then storage. Here, default storage location, you put in SD card. By the way, that is also possible here, but it's not necessary because it's just, I mean, you can do it manually, but if you want to uh, make sure it's probably moving already. I already asked it to move. It's in the process of moving. But if you want all your um, apps, future apps, uh, to automatically go on uh, the SD card that, that are possible, you can go to storage. And also here, default location under storage, SD card. But this one will have to reboot to do that this one didn't but here also so i'll reboot this one but it's not necessary you can also do this uh, just manually uh, put them on the sd card with the newest version of huawei uh, y5 version 2 it's uh, possible um, and here under manage apps voila on sd card so again, it says no apps at this moment. Here it's easier, in my opinion. It's already clear what apps can be on the... Again, this one cannot go on the SD card. This one can. The other one can't. So, I mean, it's an improvement. Huawei did an improvement, but I really would love Huawei to... Um, improve it even better and make it something like this. Shouldn't be that hard. Um, again, my pin number. Okay. And again, we can see under storage, the default location is the SD card and also, the apps, it's still in progress, but here the apps are, okay, this one was moving, but it's moving, it's moving, okay, this Skype is on, and speed test will come here too. Speed test, voila, it's there. So, that is how you put apps on SD card on the Huawei Y. 530, the Y5 version 2, and the Samsung Express 2. Hope you've learned something from this video. If you have any questions or um, want to have other questions about Android phones and particular Huawei smartphones, um, please uh, let me know in the comments. And... Um, uh, thumbs up if you like this video and if you want more free videos uh, Please subscribe share this video. It would help me a lot um, So uh, hope to see you on my next video about Huawei smartphones